Hey, how you doing, everybody? Well, the season is changing. Fall is upon us, at least in my area where I live. So, everything's changing. So, I know everybody likes the EDC, so we'll give an everyday carry. This is what I carry on my person. I've been doing a review with the bags because I've been changing up the bags and stuff, so you guys are pretty much familiar with the bags. So, I don't have to give you anything on that. But when I do have, uh, you know, I do change up my stuff for the fall. We have jackets and stuff like that. So it's a little bit easier to carry more stuff on your person. And I left one item out, which is kind of in the distance. Anyway, so I am still using the Herschel wallet uh, let me just take a look to make sure none of my cards is showing too much anyway so you know it's got your apartments for the credit cards there it's got two sliding compartments i actually have uh club cards in there you know for one of the big box stores and you know it has the pocket over here i don't really have cash on me so you know there's not cash sitting there. And I put my cash in a money clip anyway. I don't keep it in my wallet. I don't know why I put that to the side, but we'll put it over there more. And the Gerber that I love so much for opening boxes and doing all that fun stuff when we do unboxings. That is my money clip. I don't clip it to my pocket or whatever. It's a money clip for me. Now... I've been kind of switching up with these two guys, the uh, Cairo, Gyro, Cairo, yeah, sorry. I did clean it up a little bit from the last time. And you know, this is a basic knife. It's such a great EDC knife, so I always find myself going back and going back to this and it has the little pocket, uh, paracord lanyard. I want to say pocket cord lanyard. Huh. And then I have this one, which I didn't put a lanyard on yet, and it's a little dirty because I was using it earlier today. And it also has, you know, the spring assist. It does have serrations, and as you can see, I've been using the last couple of days, so the clip got a little bit loose, so we have to tighten that up and fix it and everything. Anyway, it's a Kershaw. It came in that Christmas pack, and... Of course, the holidays are coming upon us, so hopefully I will get another pack so you guys could check out. And sometimes, every now and then, I've been carrying this as my pocket knife, the Victoria Knox, that I did a review on. It's usually in that leather case, but you can pocket carry it as well, and that's what I've been doing. And you have the main large blade, and you have the smaller pen blade. A little bottle opener with the uh, wire stripper and flathead screwdriver. I wish it did have the Phillips. Then you have the smaller flathead with the can opener. And then on this side you have the corkscrew. Um, your leather or hole punch, if you will. And then... Of course, the corkscrew. And then, like all of the Victoria knots, we have our little toothpick. And I do use that. And the tweezers, which I do use. So, sometimes I end up carrying that. And then I always have my little tiny Victoria knot. Which, oh, wait a minute. I forgot to show the scissors on the big one. Oh, we have our famous and one of the best scissors around. Victoria Knox. Now this, these scissors are small, but they do help with like, you know, when you have a little piece of skin. I'm trying to do this through a viewfinder, so forgive me. If I can get it to focus. You got a little piece of skin or something there. You can just clip it off. Works wonders. And of course, this one, unlike the other one, has, well, it does have the blade. That, that's not what I'm talking about. It doesn't have, the other one doesn't have the file. So, you know, a little hangnail or something, just take that out. 
and you're able to file, and you got yourself a little tiny flathead screwdriver. I always have that on me. I love it. The knives I don't carry into work except for the little tiny Victorian knock. Then this I carry as my little knife if I'm doing something. It is a lock blade. I was carrying the Kershaw, but I went back to the Gerber. I'm actually thinking about taking off the pocket clip because it just rides in like the little watch pocket on my jeans. So that doesn't really serve a purpose. But I have to put it someplace so I know where it is and what it's for. A little bit of the CarMax. Of course. And then, of course, the Fisher Space Pen that can write under any kind of conditions, upside down, water, everything. And I have a notebook in my little pack I carry with me. And it extends to a full pen. So, you have that. And then, of course, because we have pockets. Well, oh, the lighter would write it. The Zippo, I'm going with a classic Zippo right now. Right there. That looked really cool on the camera. I hope it comes out cool in the video. Anyway, going with a little bit of a classic Zippo. Right there if you want to take a look at it. Now, since we have more pockets, jackets, and stuff like that, I'll carry a flashlight with me. It's on the strobe right now. But anyway, I don't want to shine it in your face. It does have the little bezel there. You can focus it. It's a little cheapo one. I usually have a longer lanyard on it. I just clip it on there. And it does have a pronounced little switch, which I like. I like the little switch that goes on and off. I don't like the twisty. I do have a mag light. But, you know, it's the little mag light, not the great. Well, they have the little tiny one in the medium size. Not the great big beat somebody over the head police one. So. There you go right there. I'll just throw that in my like right hand pocket. And of course, I try to use a little bit of a fancier, especially when I'm at work and stuff, a little bit of a fancier, nicer looking hanky to have in your pocket. So that's, oh, and I forgot about this. I, it's not really in my pocket, it's in my bag. I just have it here because I didn't really get to go over it the other day when I went through the bag stuff. But I found this in Walmart for like $2.99. And good thinking, all that stuff, vocabulary, flashcards, whatever you want to use it. And yes, I haven't used it yet. And I have it hanging there on my bag, and I have yet to use it. It may get taken out of the bag or stay there, I don't know. But it does come with its own little marker, a little Sharpie-like marker. So, you can't look too many through the roof finder. It's hard, but I got it. Anyway, and it has a little ring on it. So, no, I haven't used it for anything yet. I still, I know I'm going to use it. I just don't know what I'm going to use it for. But that was riding in my bag on the little clip. And I did actually, in fact, from that bag that was horrible, ripped the keychain loop out of it and sewed it into the new bag along the seam. So now... The bag is complete with everything I wanted it to have, which makes me so much more happy. So that's our EDC stuff and everything we got going there. I actually just recently re-put that little paracord lanyard back on the little Victorian knots because it came off and I couldn't find where it went. I did actually mess, I lost one of the pieces for one of my keychains as well. Oh yes, and of course, EDC in my pocket. The keychain, the other keys for the house and stuff like that usually rides in um, in the bag. I have my little lanyard I made out of paracord with the little bolt. I have my little Swiss Utila key, my little tiny Night Eyes light that has the three modes. That has to be changed the battery and stuff. I got the little key for my toolboxes and stuff like that. And of course, the little Night Eyes pry bar slash bolt and bottle opener and of course it has have a rubber case that is falling off and makes it hard sometimes to press the buttons because you think you're pressing it and it's not and you're not but i do drive a nissan suv so i do have my little key fob here oh and if you guys were just curious because i don't know how nobody knew it but i saw somebody the other day and they didn't know it i showed them 
press that little, see that little, if we can get it to focus, that little switch, you press the switch and the key to the car comes out. And the driver's side door is the only door that has a key on it. Or a key hole, I guess you could say. And no, it won't fit into the ignition because it's a push start. But supposedly this has enough energy or whatever you want to call it or battery life. If you hold it right up against the little push start, it will start. So, haven't tested it, but that will work, supposedly, hopefully. Anyway, so that's everything in the new full EDC. Some updates, some non-updates. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And please give that thumbs up and the like. Subscribe. I really appreciate the support. Thanks a lot, guys.